Heyo everybody, Haku here with my review of One Piece Anime Episode 756. And this one, though not as good as the other Zo episodes we've had so far, was still really, really good. We still got... It was only based on half a chapter's worth of manga content, but we still got so much content in this episode. This episode was way, way full of more content than just about every single Dress Rosa episode. And I know I keep comparing the episodes to Dress Rosa, but it's the same show. So I mean, comparing the Dress Rosa episodes to this, the show has made great improvements. So um, yeah, I thought that this was still really good, though definitely a step down from the uh, first few Zo episodes. But the pacing wasn't bad, because I feel like they put enough good in canon filler there, and they develop things really well that I didn't think they were going to develop that in depth and so it wasn't dragging out we it still felt like we got a ton of content actually and that the content was actually just fleshed out more um, so at the beginning I gotta say that this the stuff at the beginning the random filler bullshit where they just talk about the story and give the basic premise of the story um, that I hated ever since the time skip and I was like, uh, oh, this new one's better than the last one. Yeah, it's already getting on my nerves, though. I don't, I don't think we should have it. It's just kind of an annoyance. Um, hell, if anything, separate the opening and ending again and give us a decent ending instead of that. I would rather have that than just the annoying thing at the beginning, because it takes as much time anyway. Um, and then as far as the recap goes, the recap this week was actually short, so that was good. Um, we see at the beginning the samurai on Neko Zaimon, who has been uh, soaked by the uh, rain eruption trying to climb back up the leg of Zo, but they have to call it a night because it's not going down, and it was really entertaining. They had the monkey with them as well that we've seen, so it was really good, really entertaining. Um, Neko Zaimon was no Ryunosuke, but still pretty cool. Um, and yeah, I guess that's all that there is to say there, except what it means like to me is that they don't need to drag things out. They can add stuff like this was added in, this was in canon filler, add in stuff like this. That was interesting, it was funny, it didn't take anything away from the story, and it made the episode feel more full that we got to see it. Um, and jumping from there, where we spend most of our episode, we go to the, um, the Mink Feast, and I really like the OST they use there. I like seeing all the Straw Hats partying with the Minks. Um, so all of that worked out really well I thought we get to see um, freaking uh, Brooke come back and we find out from Brooke actually that Momo is sequestered in his room and that um, Brooke warns them you know don't talk about the uh, samurai or anything like that keep the uh, samurai samurai talk on the hush or you'll get some uh, bad reactions from the minks so again nothing being explained to us really also, we find out from Wanda that the mink tribe eats all like alligators and the hippos and stuff, but nothing with fur. So that's an interesting quirk of their uh, of their race or tribe. But um, yeah, so a little bit more information with them. A lot more development with the minks that I like. Uh, learning more about their culture. I think it's really cool that we've been getting that the past two episodes. Um, and we also find out Law went to go see his crew. We find out that Sanji left a note. All the stuff with the dogs that um, are all obsessed with Brooke was freaking hilarious. I loved that it happened to uh, Wanda too, where they were like, dogs just love bones. Really funny. And uh, I also thought it was really funny, and I loved the reactions of everybody else too, the way like Zoro didn't care, and Frankie's like, oh, well, that makes sense. It just, just everybody's reactions to it were funny as well. And then they all settle down for Nami to tell the story of what happened with Big Mom and the encounter with Big Mom's ship. And we get some hype that uh, Peckham's, Capo er, Peckham's, Tamago, and even Capone were there as well. So um, that was really cool. And we get a really awesome sequence where um, using Caesar, uh, Brooke, um, yeah, sorry. Brooke, um, Chopper, and Sanji were able to actually deflect an attack back and knock off a chunk of Big Mom's ship, and that Nami was able to use the rain eruption to allow them to escape. So again, hype for the people on that side of the crew, because we haven't seen them much in a very long time, so it's good to see them in action. And moving on from there, we just sort of 
get that story that they escaped and then we find out we're interrupted saying that um, Duke Inuadashi is awake or Dog Storm I think in the English I don't know why they changed it to that why they didn't just keep Inuadashi so um sorry but like bugger something was rolling on my neck but um yeah I don't know why we uh, didn't just call him Inuadashi in the subs or whatever but uh, whatever, and then once we find out that he is awake, we are told that he's one of the two kings of Zo, and that there's the king of the day and the king of the night, Inuarashi and Nekamamushi. We get some hype built for them, and then we sort of leave it off there for us to uh, presumably get some more flashbacks and some more explanation next chapter, or next episode rather. Also, one last thing I want to mention is uh, Chopper is seen going to go help Duke Inuarashi with a uh, two new characters, Miyagi and Tristan, that uh, presumably look like a uh, doctor and a nurse that are going to be assisting Chopper. Um, so again, neat to see that uh, the Minks do have this system. Chopper is just a really, really freaking good doctor. But um, yeah, so overall for the episode, thought it was really good. Thought it felt like it was full of content despite only being based on half a chapter's worth of manga work. And um, yeah, I, I was perfectly fine. Normally I think it's completely like terrible to only do half a chapter but when they develop it and like fill it out this well I think that this worked out better than if we had maybe covered the whole chapter I think the pacing for this worked out all right and I think that the way they ended it like the point that they ended it at did still feel natural whereas some of the late dress rose episodes where we were only getting half chapter episodes the endings didn't always feel very natural so um, definitely a big step up from Dress Rosa, even though, like I said, the animation quality was noticeably down from last episode and the uh, one or two before that. So noticeably worse animation, but still somehow better than Dress Rosa. Um, and this may... I enjoyed it. I liked it a lot. This may be kind of a high score, but I want to give it eight, um, eight um, barren corpses out of ten. So... Yeah, might be a little bit high of a score, but I did really personally enjoy it. So, like if you guys like this video, comment down there. Tell me what you thought of the episode and what you thought of my thoughts on it. Subscribe for more One Piece, both anime and manga, plus a shit ton of other anime and manga. Um, follow on Twitter if you want, and I'll try to keep you updated there on stuff for the channel. And that's it. So, thank you once again for watching, and I'll see you all next time.